Hey guys, how's it going? It's Brandon here, BB Southpaw Touch Up. I'll be showing you an overview of Android OS 2.0, which is only found on the Motorola Droid, which is what I happen to have right here in my hands. So today I'll be showing you just a brief overview of everything about inside of the phone and all the things you can do with it. So let's start with the lock screen, which you're presented with right once you press the lock key right there, lock and power key right there. Um, so you can either you can do two, uh, one of three things actually. You can unlock it, which is what I just did. So I'll lock it back, and then go back into here. You can see how you see how volume is off right now. There's an X. If you do that one more time, sound is on, and it will also tell you. Do it again. Sound is off. So sound is off. I'll go ahead and unlock it. There you go. And then you hit. You are presented with your whatever background you choose, and also your pages that you can scroll through. So let's start with the top. Up here you have your processes that are done, which is if you install something through the Android Marketplace or any other um, third party application where you d it includes downloading programs. So you can just go ahead and give that a swipe down. And you will see some, that's basically just notifications. It doesn't have to be downloads. It could also be uh, things like email messages and things like that. But I've only had notifications so far. And you can do that and then you can clear it from there so it will not appear which is what I'll do real quick just to show you so just hit clear and then all of a sudden it's gone everything's gone from up there which is nice also up here is you have your uh, sound key which it shows it is off which obviously it is and I do have three bars and I am on 3G right now then you have your battery indicator which I'm about halfway through a little less than halfway and then the nicely presented time up top up in the top right it's big enough for you to see um, just when you're messing around with your phone also uh, the first page is just regular and the middle page is actually where you should put all your things because you can also do a little quick Google search up here at the top. Um, you can just easily search Google just from that um, little box. And then you can also do a voice thing. Say I wanted to search for, um, I don't know, Droid unboxing. I'm going to say Motorola Droid and watch this. Motorola Droid. Oh, Troy, Motorola Troy, yeah. <laughs> All right, Motorola Droid. You got to say it a little clear. This one should come up. Okay, yeah, Motorola Android. See, it uses smart uh, technology to know what you're talking about. And then uh, you have your third page, which I don't have anything on. And if you notice that on the background, which I did get from the application backgrounds, it actually moves throughout the image. It doesn't just say that stable image. It goes through different parts of the image, which is really nice. Um, and then let me just go ahead and get to the buttons down here. You obviously have your back key, then you have your menu key, your home key if you want to go home at any time, and your little quick search key uh, which uses Google. So you could just hit that and you'll easily just go to the quick search Google um, part of the phone. So also you have this little side up thing right here which is where most of your icons will be found um, until you start moving them throughout your pages on your actual uh, until you start moving them on the actual pages of the home screen of your phone. So you just have your things like alarm clock, Amazon MP3s, your browser, your car home, calculator, all the stuff you will ever need. Uh, but I use the things I use most, mostly right here. And there is also an integration though. It will put all your most used, um, all your most used applications or whatever you use up here first. It will do that by itself. So that is really cool. Um, also, it does have Google Maps with turn-by-turn -turn navigation. I may show that in another video. I may not because it will review a lot of locations and all kinds of stuff like that. So I don't know about that. I might. Um, another cool thing is that when you open up Facebook, it uh, syncs all of your contacts into your contacts. It actually syncs every single one of your contacts of Facebook into your contacts. So right now, I have like uh, 600 friends on Facebook or something like that. And I have a ton of contacts in my phone now because I, I actually did do the sync, um, the sync to the phone. And also, guys, these keys down here are not pressable. They're, as you can see probably right there, they are not pressable. They're just little keys. You just touch them. It's touch sensitive. So the, lo the screen did lock because I have the 30 second lock on. Um, also, here's the camera, which it will take. There's the droid box. And you can also switch up to go to the video camera. And you can also click right there to view your images right there. And you can just uh, click it and you can actually start viewing them. That's when I was actually in the Verizon store. You can see that. 
Uh, the phone set up right there. So things getting set up. Uh, I think I may have one more. Yeah, look, it's a worker back there at the Verizon store. And you can see all the cases and stuff like that up there for the droid. That's all droid accessories up there. So, that's just a brief overview of the Android OS 2.0. Um, there's This is just an overview. It wasn't supposed to be in-depth. It was just basically telling you everything about the new OS and basically how to use the droid, um, all the basic functions of the droid, and things of that nature. So again, um, I will have a video coming up on the Android Marketplace, which will be in-depth of that, so you can check that out. And also, guys, let me just mention that the browser speeds are phenomenal. Um, I opened up Macworld, and it was really fast. I can open up another web page for you real fast, too. Um, again, I'll be getting more in-depth with the browser as well. Let me just go ahead and open uh, BB's iPod touchup.com. Okay, there it is, easy to type, and just hit go. Oops, I accidentally hit something else. Wow, so I gotta type all this over again. Uh... There you go, it's, it shows up in the history, and it'll probably bring up the mobile version, but look, watch how fast it does this. Oh no, it didn't. Brought up the full version, and it's going quite fast, so especially with how text rich this site is. Okay, there you go. So it's almost done and it's done. That fast, guys, and it is done. And you guys probably hear that lawnmower outside. Sorry about that, or weed eater, sorry. Um, but that was just a little quick uh, overview of the Android OS 2.0 and some of the basic functions of the Droid. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.